Hi, my name is Eric Matsubara. I've been with George Fisher Piping Systems for seven years, and this is the first of a two-part series for the SPC Electro Pneumatic Positioner. Let's go over the components. This is our standard SPC positioner. This can be used with all of your Dice Star 10 fail open and fail close actuated valves up to two inch. Today I'll be using a one inch fail close Dice Star 10 actuated valve, and we'll also need the attachment kit. In the attachment kit, you're gonna find a few adapters here. This is the spindle adapter. This is the shift spindle. This is the threaded adapter. The guide element. And we have the adapter washer and it comes in two components. So this is the molded seal and the washer itself. The assembly goes like this. And it should look like that. And finally, we have the puck. Okay, before I get started, let's go over the tools that we'll need to put this together. Flathead screwdriver, 14 and 10 millimeter box wrench, three millimeter hex wrench, and a pair of adjustable wrenches just in case. Uh, for the pneumatic connections, we're gonna use these eighth inch G-thread by tube connection. I like to use the 90s myself and about six to eight inches of uh, air hose. Let's start by removing the indicator cover on the actuator. And we'll take out the position indicator. On fail close, we'll probably need to actuate it so that we can have access to the indicator itself. This is a reverse thread, so we're gonna turn this clockwise. And take it out. All right, with the indicator out, I can go ahead and attach the spindle adapter. Again, this is a reverse thread, so counterclockwise to tighten it. Use an adjustable wrench to snug it. Okay. We'll use the shift spindle next and attach it here. This is also a reverse thread. Once that's in hand tight, we'll go ahead and use the flathead screwdriver to snug it up. With that assembled, I can go ahead and take the air off the actuator and we'll use the threaded adapter next. This is what's going to mate everything to the actuator. And this is a standard right hand thread once this is on, I'm gonna use the 14 millimeter wrench to snug it up. Okay. With this, I'm gonna use our guide element that's right here. This will thread right on. Also standard right hand thread. Get that down and I will snug this one up with the adjustable wrench. Perfect. Now we're gonna assemble the adapter washer. So we're just gonna make sure that the molded seal is on once it's on, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna place this right over the actuator and set it down on that. It'll rest just like this. And from there, we'll attach the puck. And that snaps right on the top. Once it's on, it'll look like that. From here, we're gonna align the puck guide element inside your positioner right here. So here's the flat surface of the puck, here's the flat surface of my guide element, and I'm going to align those and place that down. Once it's snugged on, I'm gonna tighten the fixing screws. You have two of them, that's a three millimeter hex wrench. So we're gonna tighten this one down. So now the positioner is attached to the actuator. And for the pneumatic connection, we're gonna go ahead and use the eighth inch BSP by tube connector. I like to use the 90s again. So let's go ahead and install these. The bottom port is your supply side. 10 millimeter wrench. We'll remove this plug because I wanna use this side to recycle my exhaust. We'll install another adapter. Okay. 
port 2-1. We'll route as my supply. And 2-2 two, two will route as our exhaust. So when we run the exhaust to port 2-2, two, two, this creates a closed loop for your supply and exhaust side. So you're only cycling clean, dry air through the positioner and the actuator. So super useful in pretty much any application, but almost always mandatory in high humidity installations. Now we'll just take our tubing and install that in there. Pull that down through there, and there we go.